What's happening, guys? It's your man Joe. Came around just found that you need to know. Um, I just wanted to decide to do a rant on something, you know. And that was because what made me want to speak on this topic was because um, uh, it was a sister. It was a, a sister in Christ. Um, she, I guess, she was having a, a discussion with somebody, and she brought up a uh, Women's Day. Yes, Women's Day. You know, and I didn't really much think too much of it, but then I, but then I began thinking like, why are you know Christians are celebrating a holiday? That is for women. And I kind of be fine. I mean, in the beginning, I mean, most churches that are at least that I know in the black community have this sort of thing, have this sort of a program where they just have a day of uh, a day of uh, in the church that they just basically celebrate women or becoming like the head. I want to say head of the church, or I would say like more being partakers or. Or husband wives or you know being part of the church or or at least the the people that were there in the beginning, so I guess they had a day for themselves um, yeah a day for themselves you know but then you know I, I then when I was really uh thinking about you know women's day in the churches then i you know I wanted to ask the Lord uh how he feels about this you know Christians that um that have this sort of thing in the churches, like no lie. All I heard when he, I think all all he said was Jezebel, with a very with a little loud voice. And I was thinking like Jezebel. Well, yeah. I mean, most majority of the churches, black churches, at least that I know, are full of women. Or um, so yeah. So, and I think it could be a little bit idolatry. You know, I guess. I guess it's almost kind of like, you know, what's in Revelation where it was talking about Jezebel that's known as, as the people see her as a prophetess, you know, uh, that's getting, always get into her fornication. Get away from Jezebel's fornication, you guys. Get out of that church. Get out of that church. Or get out of that mindset. But, you know, as far as that, um, that's just basically what I wanted to talk to y'all about. So how do you guys feel about people... Having Women's Day or sometimes Men's Day. If you have, if a church, I said if a church, I said if a church has a Women's Day, you allowing, I said you allowing, I said you allowing the Jezebel spirit in your church. I know what you're probably thinking. Well, what if a church has a Men's Day? If a church, if a church, it's if a church that's allowed, I said it's allowed, allowed, a men's day, they have, they have, they have, they have, they have the Ahab spirit, they have the, a the Ahab spirit, they have the... <coughs> I said, they have the Ahab spirit. Yeah. You better come out of that church, y'all. Get out of that Jezebel church. Get out of that Ahab church. Get out of them churches. Don't please get out of them churches. But Or you'll be partakers of they sin. Partakers. I said, partakers of they sin. All right, all right. <laughs> Okay, um, so it's your man Joe, uh, prepare for the rapture, prepare for the Lord's coming, prepare for the, uh, wedding supper of the Lamb, please have your, um, robe and gown in heaven be covered by his blood and holy fire, please make sure your name is in the Lamb's book of life, and please make sure that your, um, the records of your life in heaven be covered by the blood of Jesus, and with the Holy Fire as well. Um, be prepare for the rapture. Prepare for the great tribulation. And prepare for the great white throne judgment. Okay. So it's your man Joe. See you guys in another video or so. Okay. Peace.